Sonic Gems Collection is a 2005 compilation of Sega video games, primarily those in the Sonic the Hedgehog series. The emulated games span multiple genres and consoles from the Sega Genesis to the Sega Saturn and retain the features and errors of their initial releases with minimal edits. Player progress is rewarded with demos of other Sonic games, videos, and promotional artwork spanning the history of the Sonic franchise. While its 2002 predecessor, Sonic Mega Collection, comprised the more popular Sonic games, Gems Collection focuses on more obscure games, such as Sonic CD and Sonic the Fighters. Other non-Sonic games are included, but some, such as the Streets of Rage trilogy, are omitted in the North American localization. Developer Sonic Team conceived the compilation to introduce younger players to older Sonic games. One game they wish to include, Sega Sonic the Hedgehog, was excluded due to emulation difficulties. Sega released Gems Collection for the GameCube and PlayStation 2 in August 2005. Reviews were mixed or average, critics were divided over whether the package would satisfy players. They preferred Sonic CD and Vectorman, but found Sonic the Fighters and Sonic R mediocre, and disliked the Game Gear games. Some were disappointed by the absence of the Streets of Rage games in the American version and other Sonic games like Knuckles Chaotix and Sonic the Hedgehog Pocket Adventure. Topic. Games Sonic Gems Collection is a compilation of obscure video games published by Sega for various consoles, such as the Sega CD, Sega Saturn, and Game Gear. It primarily focuses on Sonic the Hedgehog games, such as Sonic CD 1993 and Sonic the Fighters 1996. It also includes six of the twelve Sonic games released for the Game Gear. These games encompass various genres, such as platforming, fighting, pinball, and puzzle. Additionally, players can unlock several Sega Genesis games unrelated to Sonic, including the two Vectorman games 1995 and 1996. Four games in the international version, Bonanza Brothers. 1990 and the Streets of Rage trilogy 1991. 1994, are not included in the North American version. Each game is mostly identical to its initial release, but some were changed, for example, Sonic R runs at a higher frame rate, the compilation features an extensive museum section in which players can view content, such as promotional artwork, videos, screenshots, and music, unlocked after obtaining achievements. Time-limited demos of the original Genesis Sonic games and the other six Game Gear games can also be unlocked. In each demo the player begins in the respective game's final level and can play until the time limit is met. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Development. Sonic Gems Collection was developed by Sonic Team and published by Sega for the GameCube and PlayStation 2. According to Sonic Team director Yojiro Ogawa, the compilation and its 2002 predecessor Sonic Mega Collection was conceived to introduce young players to older games in the Sonic franchise. While Sonic Mega Collection focused on the original Genesis games to showcase what made the franchise a success, Sonic Gems Collection focused on games Sega considered rare and obscure. Although Sonic Team was responsible for Sonic Gems Collection's creation, they had limited involvement in the development of the games included on the compilation, for example, Sega AM2 made Sonic the Fighters, and Sonic R was primarily developed by Traveler's Tales. Most of the games included are emulated, but Sonic the Fighters is a port. At the beginning of Gems Collection's development, Sonic Team made a list of the most wanted games for the compilation. The team considered the games they felt were high quality in graphics, gameplay, and overall nature. Sonic CD and Vectorman were considered for inclusion in Mega Collection, but were deferred to Gems Collection. Producer Yuji Naka said storage constraints prevented Sonic CD from inclusion in Mega Collection. AM3 Sega Sonic the Hedgehog 1993 was omitted due to problems emulating its trackball controls. AM2 assisted in porting Sonic the Fighters, marking its first release on a home console. The Windows versions of Sonic CD and Sonic R were used in Sonic Gems Collection. 
Both games received visual upgrades. Sonic CD's opening sequence is presented in full screen and Sonic R has higher resolution textures. During development, Sonic Team hoped that each region's version of Sonic Gems collection would be identical in content. However, the streets of Rage Games and Bonanza Brothers had to be omitted from the North American localization, due to fears of a teen rating from the Entertainment Software Rating Board ESRB. The team also wished to include both the Japanese and North American Sonic CD soundtracks, but storage and licensing problems resulted in Japan only receiving its respective soundtrack and all other regions using the North American version. Sonic Gems Collection was announced in May 2005, and was playable at the Electronic Entertainment Expo E3. It was released on August 11, 2005 in Japan, August 16, 2005 in North America, and September 30, 2005 in Europe. The PlayStation 2 version was not released in North America. Those who ordered the game through Sega's online store Sega Direct received an exclusive Sonic-themed yo-yo. Topic. Reception According to Metacritic, a video game review aggregator, Sonic Gems Collection received mixed or average reviews. By November 22, 2005, the compilation sold 200,000 copies outside Japan. In 2006, the GameCube version was branded a player's choice game, indicating it sold a million units. Reviewers considered Sonic CD the compilation's strongest feature, so much that Nintendo Power's Steve T and Electronic Gaming Monthly (EGM) said it was worth buying for Sonic CD alone. Juan Castro (IGN) found that Sonic CD still holds its own against modern platformers. Praising its unique time travel-oriented gameplay, level design, visuals, and sound. Castro called it one of the best games in the Sonic series and was no less fun than its original release. Ryan Davis GameSpot found Sonic CD superior to the other games in the compilation, and Tom Bramwell Eurogamer declared, Rejoice for Sonic CD. Just don't rejoice for anything else, because it's mostly rubbish. Many reviewers were also pleased by the inclusion of the Vectorman games. Castro called it, the pinnacle of 16-bit gaming, praising its melding of boss fights, action, and platforming and saying it aged well. Bramwell and Phil Theobald Gamesby agreed, critics generally felt Sonic R and Sonic the Fighters were mediocre. Castro, Theobald, and Davis compared Sonic the Fighters unfavorably to the Virtua Fighter games, with Davis calling it dated and simplistic. Jexvideo.com's Superpanda argued Sonic R was on par with Sonic CD in terms of quality. Castro was less positive, he found its ideas clever and considered it an interesting departure from normal racing games, but thought the ideas were poorly implemented and the controls were awkward. However, he still thought the game was enjoyable and that its soundtrack was unique. Theobald voiced a similar opinion, considering it a concept that works better in theory than in practice. Conversely, Davis said Sonic R's laughably bad soundtrack was its only redeeming quality. Bramwell considered it too odd and short to be worth the player's time. The six Game Gear Sonic games were criticized for their uneven quality and poor emulation. Theobald liked that the games were available from the start, but was puzzled why the other six games were left out. He also considered the selection random. Why Sonic 2, but no Sonic? Castro was intrigued that they were all on one disc, but thought their screen displays were bad and said, You'd probably be better off dusting your old game gear and finding those old games, rather than playing them on Sonic Gems collection. Of the Game Gear games, Davis preferred Sonic 2, Sonic Triple Trouble, and Tails Sky Patrol, but disliked the rest. He heavily criticized their emulation quality, noting their frequent frame rate drops. Bramwell joked they were present on the disc for educational purposes. He lambasted their resolutions and encouraged readers to ignore them entirely. Some reviewers found the compilation incomplete. Davis and Theobald both criticized the exclusion of the Streets of Rage games in the North American version. Davis stated he preferred them over Vector Man and Theobald said Sega should have just let the compilation get a teen rating from the ESRB. Theobald was also disappointed that the compilation lacked Sega Sonic the Hedgehog, Knuckles Chaotix, and the other Game Gear games. 
Jeremy Parrish said even combining Sonic Mega Collection and Sonic Gems Collection would provide players an incomplete Sonic Collection, lambasting the exclusion of Knuckles Chaotix and Sonic the Hedgehog Pocket Adventure and feeling the Master System Sonic games should have been included, not the Game Gear ones. Super Panda said he would have preferred Knuckles Chaotix over the Game Gear games and also considered its exclusion of the Saturn version of Sonic 3D Blast a disappointment. Reviewers were generally divided over whether Sonic Gems collection would leave players satisfied. EGM summed it up as a woefully uneven mix, but one Sonic fans should check out if they wanted Sonic CD. Castro said the compilation was decent and worth its price tag, but was not as solid as Sonic Mega Collection. Theobald found it weak and that only Sonic CD and Vectorman would appeal to casual gamers. Bramwell was sarcastic. If this sort of thing matters to you, if you still can't bear to unplug your Dreamcast, and you do own Virtua Fighter 4 and all the others and think they're brilliant, this is for you. When Famitsu named the best games of 2005, it ranked Sonic Gems Collection among the bottom of the PlayStation 2 and GameCube releases. <laughs> <laughs> Notes <laughs>